friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a mature white non intumescent cataract let us observe this surgery the ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with BSS and now this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away a big air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule and then the dye is washed out using BSAs and a 23G Simco. Two percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is then injected to fill off the anterior chamber. In this case, I didn't apply the dye over the cornea because the capsule is stained and we can see very clearly. With the tip of the uterator forceps, the anticapsule is scratched, a capsular tag is raised, this tag is guided anticlockwise all around, and a continuous curvilinear capsular axis is done. Since this is a non intumescent cataract, very little hydro dissection was done and then the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus rotates. Visco is again injected to fill up the interior chamber and now is the time to introduce the FECO needle into the anterior chamber. The needle goes bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated and then the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and then the nucleus is held very firmly and the chopper is used to divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. After 180 degree rotation the two heminuclei are completely separated from each other. Now the handpiece has been turned the bevel is up towards the cornea and now each heminucleus is subdivided into two large fragments. Each fragment is then emulsified and see the nuclear pieces are always at the tip of the FECO needle. It is not running here and there. It is just around the tip This is the other heminucleus. It is also divided into two large fragments. Each large fragment is then emulsified and the piece remains around the nucleus all the time. If necessary, these large nuclear pieces can be divided into smaller pieces, but most of the time it is not necessary. And now to make the more to make the anterior chamber more stable the chopper has been removed and the last fragment is emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is sixty percent, flow rate is forty five ml per minute, vacuum is four hundred fifty millimeter of mercury, and the machine is Oatley Cataracts three from Switzerland. And now cortical Cleanup is being done with the with this instrument. This is a 23 gauss Simco. Since we have only one side port, we can use this instrument or a coaxial irrigation aspiration. But this instrument goes through the side port. A coaxial doesn't. So removal of 
cortex from just beneath the main wound is easier with this instrument. The side port is about 3 clock hours away from the main wound and the though the side port is little wider actually this wider side port is neutralizing the astigmatism produced by the large main wound neutralizing to some extent and now after enlarging the main wound a little bit this is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens and the lens has gone into the capsular bag. But there is a lot of visco sticking to the posterior surface of the cornea. We have to remove that. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this paracentesis. Now the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time, note that the visco sticking to the corneal endothelium is going to come in, come out. Here it is. Lot of visco was sticking to the corneal endothelium, and it has come out. The bag is also irrigated once or twice, and we leave the anterior chamber very clean at the conclusion of surgery. The integrity of all the wounds are checked by a cotton taped Jensen bard. Few drops of moxie is applied with the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and sub your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.